Welcome to another episode of The Bible Says This, What Say You? I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I'm sitting here in the sanctuary. You see God first uh, across my shoulder here. Jesus is Lord. God first is on the walls because that's what the Upper Room is all about. We have other banners hanging up in the church that says it's all about Jesus. And I'll talk to you about it later. We are reclaiming the rainbow. <laughs> yeah, those beautiful colors. All seven of them that God used to, to say, to remind himself that he would never flood the earth again with water. And also to remind us that he will not flood the earth again entirely with water. What a mighty God we serve. Now the Bible says in Psalms 33 and verse 4, the A clause, the word of the Lord is right. And uh, the, the particular word of the Lord that I want to talk to you about today is uh, Psalm, comes from Psalms uh, chapter 8. And uh, Psalms 8 and verse 3 says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Also, Psalms 82 and verse 5, the B clause says, all of the foundations of the earth are out of course. What is David talking about when he mentions the foundations? He's talking about the social order our institutions that maintain social order, our government, the judicial system, our army, uh, the uh, law enforcement, that which is in place to protect and to serve, uh, our, our, the, the, uh, the punitive systems, you know, uh, our legal systems, all of the things that are necessary for a society to function. David says, if they are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Uh, he also said that these things are set out of order. And my friends, I'm telling you, if we stand idly by and allow our institutions that, keep, that hold society together to be destroyed, then I'll tell you what it's leading to. It's leading to anarchy and chaos. Well, chaos leads to anarchy. And then every man be begins to uh, do that which is right in his own eyes. And, and you know that's not good for anyone. We are in a weird time, my friends. It seems to me that which is right is now called wrong, and that which is... It was wrong is now called right. And the things that, that we should be ashamed of, we're now celebrating. And the things that we should celebrate, we're now ashamed of. We're ashamed to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ preached with power and authority and the morals of the Bible being held up as true. We're ashamed of those things, and yet we celebrate uh, LGBT. Q. We celebrate wickedness. We, we celebrate and promote uh, 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 ungodly behavior, uh, di divorce, uh, 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 abortion. Oh, my Lord. We, 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 we treat Planned Parenthood as though it is a wonderful institution, an institution that was started, that was founded to destroy black folk. And yet my own beautiful people. Oh, we love all of the politicians who love to fund. Planned Parenthood. There is something wrong with that. I, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about some things specifically. I, I Listen, even over our army, you know, we got um, uh, Eric Clay, K, Eric K. Fanning. Uh, he's the Secretary of Army, nominated by our great president, President Barack Hussein Obama. He nominates uh, uh, Fanning. Fanning gets the job. This was back in the 2010, and uh, Fanning is a open practicing homosexual. And the LGBT community is so excited about this man. Uh, uh, the, here's what the community had to say. Uh, uh, this historic move is one of many steps uh, the Obama administration has taken to advance the rights of the LGBT community in the armed services. In 2010, President signed a law ending the don't ask, don't tell policy that prohibited homosexuals and lesbians from serving openly in the military. And earlier this year, President Obama, the president moved to allow those who identify as transgender to serve 
as well. I mean, now we've got transsexuals openly serving in the military with the uniform on. Uh, the, the first half of him or her is what God made them to be. And the second half is what happened in a laboratory. And I want to say to the transsexual community, because actually gender is a literary, literary term. It, 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 in its original, it referred to words and literature, not to sexes. God made uh, uh, the, the human race male and female. He didn't make it one gender or another gender. He actually didn't make two genders. He made two sexes. One, one's male and the other's female. And I want to say to the transsexual, before you go under that knife, before you allow them to put that implant in on you, before you put that wig on, before you have facial softening surgery, hey man, before you get your Adam's apple removed, there's nothing wrong with your body. There's something wrong with your mind. It's not your hands. It's not your sexual parts. It's not your private body parts that need an operation. It's your soul. It's your mind. And I want to say to you, Jesus Christ will set you free. Jesus Christ will deliver you. Once you have the operation, once you do all of those things, you will still be a confused individual. Now back to what I really want to talk to you about. My time moves rather quickly here. We just saw a blow to the foundations of our society just a few days ago. Have you ever seen a man while he's been investigated by the uh, attorney general, while he's been investigated by the FBI actually stop the attorney general, our chief law enforcement officer, the attorney general Loretta Lynch stopped on the tarmac and had a conversation with uh, President uh, Bill Clinton, and they claim that in their 30-minute conversation, now this is why, why, why Bill and the Clinton Foundation has been investigated by the FBI. This is why Hillary, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, former Secretary of State, has been investigated uh, by the FBI to, to determine whether or not charges should be brought to her for having several servers off campus using several devices that uh, was unprecedented. They tried to say it was, but it wasn't. Uh, there's no precedence for what she, what she did. And while under investigation, uh, President Clinton, uh, he's no longer president, acting president, but he was the, uh, the president of the United States. He meets with uh, the attorney general and claims that they talked about their grandchildren and talked about golf. And what happens in a few, a few days after that, the attorney general comes out and says she will obey the FBI, whatever the FBI says. And then uh, a few days later, the FBI says we found nothing wrong with what Hillary uh, did. As a matter of fact, uh, FBI Director James B. Uh, Comey uh, said that, uh, uh, that he found nothing wrong, even though he finds a whole lot of things wrong. I want to read his concluding statement, then I want to talk to you. He says this concerning her behavior, if it were you or me, if it was us, here's what he said, quote, to be clear, this is not to suggest that in similar circumstances, a person who engaged in this activity would face no consequences. To the contrary, those individuals are often subject to security or administrative sanctions. Translated into Greek, if it was anybody other than Hillary, they'd be in jail or they would, he would have recommended that a grand jury be called and she be in, indicted. But because it was her, then there is a different set of rules. Well, now let me tell you something, my friends. These things strike at the heart of our society. You know, uh, uh, Mrs. Clinton said that she sent no classified email, not, not one, not any email she sent was classified at the time that she sent it. Well, uh, apparently uh, on that uh, uh, argument, her and, uh, and the FBI agrees because the FBI didn't find that she sent one, they, they found that she sent 110 that were classified at the time that she sent them. She claims that 
her lawyers painstakingly read through all of the emails and, and uh, uh, you know, and deleted the ones that was, <laughs> that was not work related. When the FBI found that the ones that, uh, uh, that they deleted, that they didn't read uh, them at all. Okay, that's another, another contradiction. She said that she turned over the emails other than the ones that she deleted that was about weddings, yoga, and uh, emails that she sent to her husband. But her husband says he's only received or sent two emails <laughs> in his life. I guess they didn't get together on that one. So, uh, and yet the, the FBI finds thousands of emails that were not a part of the three th the 30,000 that she turned in. So she was found and caught in lie after lie and yet, and, and I'm not reading it because of, of time constraints. You can, you can pull this up and read it for yourself. I have right here the actual press conference and the words of, uh, uh, of uh, FBI Director Comey. Uh, but you can, you can read it and you'll see for yourself that I'm telling you, had it been you or had it been me or had it been anyone else with what he discovered uh, that she lied, 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 lied. She said this, but she did that. Said that she had one or two devices when he found that she had several. Uh, she had several servers, several, and none of those servers were secured. And she even used servers in enemy territory. Now, this is careless behavior. It's reckless behavior. It's dangerous behavior. And it violates the law. But because it was Hillary, it's fine. These things, my friends, strike at the heart of our society. I believe that. Justice should be blind. I believe that the law should be applied to all. Now, I notice this. I notice this. There is a, a Marine, a, 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 a Marine, a Major Jason uh, Breesler, who, when uh, he accidentally sent, they requested uh, his advice on uh, uh, an Afghani uh, a soldier who actually was a double agent. They requested uh, his, uh, and this is according to the Washington Post, they, they requested his, his advice, and he sent an email to his fellow officers to warn them of this man, that the man could not be trusted, but there was two classified documents, two, attached to the email that he sent. Do you not know that this man was dismissed? Do you not know that action was taken against this man? for sending one email with, for, that had a couple of uh, classified uh, documents attached and he was sanctioned, he was dismissed. And on the other hand, we see where Hillary sent 110 at least and lied about it. As a matter of fact, the, the, the major here, the moment he sent his, he notified the authorities. Hillary sent out 110 lied about it, said that she didn't do it, and no charges. Now, whether you are a Democrat or Republican or like me, an independent, it doesn't, these things have got to disturb you because these things go at the heart of our society. We've got to be able to trust our institutions. We've got to believe that there is a degree of fairness somewhere. My concern, my friends, is, is there anybody in the positions of power, is there anybody in the, in the Senate, anybody in the Congress, is there anyone uh, in, the, in the presidency who is concerned about the welfare of America? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I'm running out of time in this first segment. I want to come back and bring something else before you because, you know, I am as disappointed as I can be with our attorney general. And I understand she's appointed, nominated by the president. I know it is not an elected position, but I tell you, the way they've come after our state, the great state of North Carolina, and the way uh, HB2, which is not House Bill 2 in longer, it's the law of the land, has been mischaracterized and simply lied on, called the new Jim Crow. I will say it's, it's, it's not the new Jim Crow, uh, Jim Crow is not the one who said that marriage is a union between a man and a woman and God only made two sexes. Jesus Christ said that.